Hello, let's put something to bed once and for all, because it gets really aggravating hearing about it all the time, and it's nonsense. So let's put something to bed right now. Uh, this is actually the second time that I'm doing this, because I didn't have my, my uh, wireless mic turned on when I did it the first time. So uh, let's, let's put this little, little idea to bed here. I guess it was already up. I wasn't down low enough. So it's running. It is on low because, uh, well, we don't need it on anything more than that in this house. And so she's running. And again, this is the second time of me doing it. So, uh, you know, if it was going to kill it, it would kill it. So heater's running. Low on fuel, though. So got to make this quick because, uh, yeah, a little bit low on fuel. So let me... Uh, I'm running off my power supply. Don't have anything in between. And, uh, oops, right here. And let me turn that off. Oh my goodness. Oh no. For the love of humanity. Oh my goodness. Just wait. It's coming. Oh no. Now we're all going to die of carbon monoxide. Oh. Can you just hear the motherboard just frying in there? It's just frying. Oh my goodness, for the love of humanity. So what that's doing is obviously there is still diesel fuel in the system when I turned it off. And what it is doing, burning that out of the, anything that was right around the glow plug and in the burn chamber and all that. I'm not saying that this is ultra good for them. It definitely doesn't smell good, but I'm not saying it's ultra good for them. What I am saying is it's nonsense running around with your hair on fire telling people, oh my goodness, you can't let them shut off. They'll burn up. They'll die. You'll kill them. Oh, no, you won't. You won't. Okay. I'm sitting here smoking away. And if I turn the power back on right now, it'll finish its cool down cycle. But I want to make sure that we leave it off long enough that nobody's out there saying, oh, well, you didn't leave it off long enough. That's the problem. Stop. We really need to stop. Just like all of this, oh, my goodness, you have to have $50,000 exhaust clamps or else you're going to die of carbon. No, stop. If you're using this in, like, a boat and you've got a real tiny boat, boat hull or if you're using it in a real tiny space, then yes, be a little more concerned about stuff like that. But there's this little thing called parts per million. And, you know, we're using it in a house. Our house is just right around 400 square foot, so it's a small home. But I'm telling you, and the, the carbon monoxide detectors have never went off. Not a single time. Not once. And I've got a, a small... Eh, sorry... I, I normally have a tablet that I connect the pocket to, uh, up to, and I can have a bigger screen. But there is a gap in that spacer there that's in the exhaust, okay? And so it's got a tiny, tiny leak out of there. Uh, and, then, uh, and then there is a little bit up where the, where the exhaust actually connects to the heater to where there's a tiny, tiny leak up there. But, uh, and I'm not, I, I'm not telling people to do stupid stuff. What I'm telling people is, number one, stop being afraid of your own shadow, okay? Uh, number two, stop spreading the BS. I know of many people that's already debunked this, that's already talked about this as far as shutting the heater down uh, when, it's, when it's running, that it's not going to kill it. It's not a death sentence for it, okay? So, it's shut off. It's shut off, right? Nothing on the display. You saw it was running. I'm going to go ahead, interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kick this back on here. All right. And it might spin up. Yep, indeed it is. Oh my gosh. Can you tell how blown up and fried the motherboard is? Wow. For the love of humanity. No. People really need to knock off the nonsense. Seriously. Seriously, it's not, it, it's not true. You will not burn these up if they lose power unexpectedly. Not going to happen. 
I don't know how many times that mine's lost power like that. It's fine. It's not going to burn it up. Am I saying it's the absolute best thing that you could do on them? No, for a myriad of reasons. Number one, you've got unburnt diesel fuel inside of that the gauze that's inside of the burner assembly. And when you do that, anytime you do that, you're going to gunk up that gauze a little more. So I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's something that you should be in regular practice of. What I'm saying is stop with the fear mongering. It is unbelievable how freaked out some people are on every little aspect of these heaters. And it is nonsense. It is absolute, complete nonsense. Stop spreading the lies. It's really easy to do. You can try this on yours if you'd like. I'm telling you, it's not going to burn it up. It's not. I don't know who started that. But I kind of want to be the guy that finishes it. I, I, it. It really gets old. It really gets old. Same with all the, oh my gosh, you have to do this. You have to, you have to install it outside or else it's going to kill the neighbor. And it, it's, it's, stop. Just stop. If you're that afraid of stuff like this, don't use it. Go and get something else. Go get your little My Buddy propane heater or whatever the heck they're called. Okay? Then you can wipe your wall or dry your walls all the time if you want. That's the other thing, right? So, I've got it, the intake for the combustion chamber mounted right on the back of the heater itself. And uh, guess what? No problems. Not one. Not ever. No problems. Works fine. I don't get where people get all their ideas from when it comes to these. I think what it is is, for whatever reason, one person has started a rumor and everybody else just jumps onto the rumor. Oh, it must be true. It must be true. I saw it on the internet. Stop. <laughs> just stop. I'm not somebody that will go out and spread a bunch of information if I don't have personal experience in it. And I advise others not to either. So, again, it's probably not the very, very best thing for them. But guess what? Guess what? Oh, it's turning on. Oh, no. It's fine. Nothing's wrong with it. I don't know how else to tell or show people or... But can we take down the fear-mongering a notch or two? Can we... Maybe just give it a try. I don't know. Consider it. Shalom.